Hello, we're going to briefly go over the FTP information for Notepad++. Now, you're going to need at least four things here. You're going to need to know the name of your web domain where you'll be loading it. Um, that's just like um, www. whatever your domain name is, .com, .net, whatever it is. Uh, your account username and, of course, your password for the FTP. Now, if you don't know where to find this account information, very simple. Check your welcome aboard emails, um, contact your web hosting company, or you can contact your web design company if you don't have like a traditional hosting company like uh, GoDaddy or HostGator or uh, Bluehost. Those are some good ones um, that you can use. So, with that being said, we're going to go right into how to go ahead and set up a quick FTP. Now I've already got mine set up and I'm just going to show you what we did. And uh, where is it? I got plugins, FTP. Let me slide that over a little bit for you. And it'll say FTP, show that. And over here you're going to get a little box that'll pop up. How that popped up there. You're going to click on the little wheel there that says settings, profile settings. Go into that. Now, first thing you're going to do to start, you're going to click this button right here. It says Add New. When you do that, it's going to prompt you to name the name of this connection. Now, we've already got a connection, but we named it Practice. Um, we're our host name, that's the name of the domain in our case, host name there. And this is a port. You're not really going to mess with this. It should pop self populate once you put in um, the type here. So you see how that changed? Now, this is a, uh, I think it's either soft or simple FTP, I forget how it goes, but basically um, that's just another thing, you don't need to mess with that, FTP, port 21, this is our username for this particular domain, and then of course our password is, um, it's all password blotted out, and then the timeout here, this means after I think it's 30 minutes, then the connection is going to be killed, but that's fine because you can always reconnect it. Now, this is the name of the directory that you're going to want to load your site up to. Now, nine times out of ten, if you just have your basic web hosting um, uh, setup, you're just going to have either open, which just basically means you're going to be sliding it right into the home directory of that of that page. So it was apex7.com, you're going to be sliding it right in. Usually it's got to be either blank, some places require a forward slash. In our case, because we have multiple sites that we're hosting here, the name of the folder we're going to be putting in is tutorials. So that's why it's important that you have all of this information available to you when you go ahead and set up the FTP. Now remember, you're only really going to have to do this once. Once you do it the first time, I'm going to show you here quickly what happens. You'll get this little blue guy here that'll pop up and this will allow you to connect or disconnect from your host or from your server. Which is cool. Because that means now your connection is closed. It's not open. Now we're going to open it by clicking on the blue. Practice. You can have multiple FTP clients set up here. Just FYI. And now it gives me the, remember I showed you the forward slash there? That's the main directory of the site, and inside we have the tutorials folder, which we built. Now this is our main site, and this is a subdomain. So you're going to be able to find all this information at tutorials.apex7.com. But all of the information for our tutorials, we're going to be sliding it right in here, and it'll be made available there. So, very simple stuff. If you want to create a quick folder on there, you can. It's called create new directory or create a new file. Um, you can upload current files there. And, of course, the refresh just refreshes the connection and shows you, again, what's live and what's not. So, Notepad++ has some decent features, and this FTP client is just one of them. And as we go on in these tutorials... Um, you're going to come to love the free Notepad++ uh, application. Thanks, and see you later.